I want you to hear it. It sounds awesome. I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining us on today's British video. I'd like to pick a great British accent, but I would be uh, dishonoring the great country to have built this awesome car, and I don't want to do that. So what I do want to say is this, that we've been here, uh, this is our 24th year. We've done a lot of, of caring for uh, British cars that have come through. And what I do like about this is uh, several things that I want to share those with you real quick, if I could, is that we've been watching these cars really start to take a climb in value right now. So everybody always says, wow, I wish I had bought a, a Shelby this or a Cobra this back in the day. Well, they miss that opportunity. And I'm not suggesting that this will bring the millions that a Cobra will because there's so few Cobras that were built. However, these cars here are continuing to kind of go up in value each and every year. How cool is it that you could uh, you could have a hobby where you could enjoy driving the car while uh, hopefully this continues to rise in value. It's like the best of both worlds, right? Anyway, uh, if you've never driven one, they're known for their handling. Uh, in this case here, we have a beautiful restoration with tons of documentation, tons of d pictures of the restoration itself, upgraded power inside the engine, even though it's uh, the original engine, it has more power than original, and it runs, sounds, and drives great. I can't wait for us to go for a test drive because I really want you to hear it. All right, so when you think about classic cars, here's what I love about classic cars versus new cars, and I love new cars as well because we sell all different kinds here, right? Is that there are certain colors of some cars that cannot be pulled off on today's modern car. You could not paint today's modern car primrose yellow, right? It's a classic car only color. This is a classic British sports car. It looks awesome in here. Uh, the wires look great. The black stripe on the side there is a decal. So if you don't like that and you don't want it, that can come off, right? These are some changes you can make. And if you wanted to go to chrome wire wheels instead of painted, you could do that as well, right? These are all small touches you can do. Uh, all the hard work's been done, right? All of the paint and body, which you get the restoration photos of, all new interior, stuff like that. But I love to show the quality of the paint. And as we come up here, you know, yellow is a very difficult car to show, uh, especially uh, in these LED lights, to, the quality. But hopefully you can see how clear the letters are and things like that. But more importantly, if it's shining in here, that's important. Why is that important? Well, because photos, photos could make, uh, you know, people can doctor photos and things like that. Video doesn't lie, it's here, it's shiny, it looks great, it'll look even better in your garage. All right, so you, uh, depending on what kind of client you are, and we have both types. Some people uh, just want a cool car to drive, they don't really care what's under the hood, no big deal, I love that as well. Other people want to go to a car show, they want to tinker, things like that. I say this to you because there are other MGBs out there uh, for sale, but you need to look at what you're getting and the difference in level of restoration, right? Let me show you what I mean by that. And when you see this, you go, yeah, okay. So originally these cars had a stick, right, to hold the hood up, okay? These here were converted over to this uh, nice system with the shocks that are there. Super nice stuff, right? These are aero-equipped aero uh, braided steel lines for an oil cooler, right? They didn't come with an oil cooler, why? Because it was mass produced here uh, this is what we would call over-restored. And you say, well, what does that mean actually? Don't I want it over-restored? Well, if you were gonna take this to a judging contest in England for this car, you would get some points deducted because it's nicer than it was from the factory. I personally don't care. I love the idea that it's nicer from the factory. Even little things like this. This uh, valve cover here is powder coated and then clear coated over top of it. It is so shiny, it's as shiny as the rest of the car, which is really nice. Uh, a new radiator. All new wiring in here. You see all the colors of the wiring, even this cool, uh, I've lost the term of it, this wrap here that wraps these wires. It's a cloth wrap that they did back in the day. Uh, it still has a generator on it, so it's very authentic here. Uh, we did talk about the upgraded uh, power in the engine, carburetors and what have you. This also has heat, right? A lot of cars don't have heat. You'd be very surprised. Even American full-size cars, heat was an option. Right? This car here has a heater, it has a top, it has a tonneau cover. We're gonna look at all those things as we get there 
afterwards. But little stuff, and you may not care, I care, and I'll tell you why, is like these factory style clamps that are on here. And you say, well, Tom, what do you care about a clamp? You're absolutely right. However, this clamp is 10 times the price of the standard clamps. And it says to me that somebody wanted to do the detail stuff, right, that makes for a different car. And as you look around, you can see all new wiring, right, all here. It's got horns in it. Many of the cars we get don't even have one horn. This has both horns in here. This is painted. This has been re-chromed. This is really, really nice. And if you wanted to go to a car show, you could open the hood and be really proud uh, to show it off. All right, so uh, why do we want to spend some time looking back here? Well, because this is a lot of the style of the car, right? Many cars have reverse lights built in here. Uh, MG decided to move them inboard there. That's really nice. The polished stainless and chrome looks really good back here. This has a much nicer exhaust from the factory. This is a polished free flow stainless exhaust uh, that not only uh, looks great, but sounds even better, okay? And then there's these little touches, and this is why uh, I like some cars more than others. For instance, this tonneau cover here, instead of being vinyl, right, is stay fast canvas. That's like 10 times the price of a vinyl one. It's much nicer. And again, here, let's get in here for a second. Maybe you're not gonna spend a lot of time back here. However, uh, it has a carpeted spare tire cover. It has the jack pack with the tools and things like that in it. It has the pack here. Uh, to put the tono cover in, right? So you don't just throw everything in there. The trunk is fully carpeted and has binding all around it. Like this is a really, really nice trunk. If you don't see these things, you don't know why you're getting a much nicer car than some of the other cars that are out there. All right, so you're walking up to your cool British car and you go, man, that's a great looking car. Oh yeah, that's mine, right? But of course, this is not where you're gonna spend most of your time. You're gonna spend most of your time inside the car here and part of the restoration. Part of the restoration, you should look at some of the things that have gone on in here, and I wanna talk about those things. So for instance here, we have a brand new tonneau cover. The tonneau cover itself is kind of a cool piece, and I'll share with you why. This has a convertible top, many other cars do not, right? The tonneau cover is kind of invented where if you went out to a winery or whatever, you went for the day to some place, and you didn't want the interior to get dirty, or there was a chance of rain, or you didn't want to fill up with dirt and things, or whatever, uh, this right here snaps on the top here. And then if you just want to go for a drive yourself, you would just unzip it, the other half folds right on inside, and you go for a drive and you don't have to worry about that stuff. If you don't want to use that, then here it is brand new in the bag. I will put it in the trunk and we'll look at that in a second uh, where that goes. And then also too, a lot of times people will say, well, can I use this car? And I say, well, what do you mean use this car? Of course you can use this car. Well, it's a classic car. Like, can I go somewhere in it? And I say, well, what do you mean go somewhere in it? And they go like, like if I want to go away for the weekend, could I go in that car? I'm like, people did this for 25 years. Yes, of course you can. Look, under here, a place for soft luggage, right? Uh, the trunk uh, has storage in there as well for more soft luggage. We have the convertible top and roll up windows instead of clip in windows. Like this is a real car that you can really use all the time. You could drive it to work on a Friday or what have you. And then you get in here and you go, well, Tone, how, how, will I fit? Will I fit? It's, 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 it's a, it's a little bit smaller. I say, well, I'm 6'1". Look at this. I got all the room in the world here to wheel this car, right? And I have so many great things, right? We're talking about uh, things like uh, that right there. This is uh, interesting. So we, these are the kinds of things that we do. It seems funny, but let me just tell you because I'm a, a weird dude and I know that up front. So it's better to know who you are than not. But like this is not centered properly and I don't like that. So it needs to be here and then this nut gets tightened so it's in the right place. All right? Anyway. Sorry, I digress. The piping on the new leather seats. This is leather, not vinyl. Expensive. This beautiful MG embroidered mats is really nice, right? Uh, 120 mile an hour speedometer, 7,000 RPM tack. This Moto Lita wheel is, uh, is around uh, $400 without the hub adapter. So you could be 600 bucks just for a steering wheel. Seat covers like this, another 1,500 bucks, 1,400 bucks. Uh, so you can quickly see how this can add up. We did, uh, I did notice that this right here uh, was warped, so we've ordered another one so it'll match this and look really nice and finished. So while you'll see it in the video, I like to point it out just to show you the couple things that we do to make things a little bit nicer. Lastly, uh, the customer didn't want to put, uh, the previous owner didn't want the stereo here. So we can either put a stereo back in here or we could hide one in the glove box, leaving the dash all stock looking. But you have full array of gauges, beautiful inside. And again, look at all the room that we have here. 
All right, so we closed up the video. We talked about a lot of things, but let's just take a quick recap. Real knockoff wire wheels, right? Uh, a beautifully restored car. We saw all of the detail stuff, the new wiring, the engine, the oil cooler, all under the hood, super show quality. It's really nice to look at if you want to do those kinds of things. Um, this has disc brakes. This has a four-speed manual transmission with optional overdrive, okay? That's a really nice feature. So once you get out on the highway, right, because this is a pretty fast little car, once you get out on the highway and you don't want the RPM, just hit the overdrive there and boom, puts you in a nicer place. Full array of gauges in there. We have two tops, right? We have a convertible top with roll-up windows. So we have a nice all-season car with a heater. I want you to drive this in the fall and the winter, man. This is a great car. As long as it's not snowing outside, this will be awesome to drive uh, in a November or January day where the sun's out. It might be a little bit chilly, but the top is down. You got the heat on. It's kind of great. Uh, lastly, we talked about... Uh, you know what we didn't talk about? We didn't talk about fun. And I like to close it up with when you talk about a car like this, this is very different than your, than your everyday car. When you get in this car, you are transferred back to a different time. You're working the shifter in your hand. You're going to remember uh, things that are just fun, an easier time and what have you. And this takes you exactly to that place. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this MGB. And uh, knowing that it'll come with the restoration book, photos, receipts, and things like that. And if you don't mind, hit the like button down below there. That helps get our message out. And uh, subscribe to the channel. We've got new stuff coming out all the time. And maybe share it with your friends. They might like it too. All right, so not every MG, MGB, Midget, all of those sounds really good. This one, I think you're going to be very surprised. First off, we have a lot more power in the load, which we talked about. Uh, and then uh, this free flow exhaust. I wanted you to hear it. It sounds awesome. <laughs>